Hi! Good day everyone! My name is Marielin Conde Malai, taking up Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education, major in Home Economics at City the Anbantayan Campus. This video is all about my teaching demonstration in TLE, Housekeeping. And this is my lesson plan. Enjoy watching! Hi, Section A! Good morning! So again, I am Miss Marjolene Malaay, your TLE housekeeping teacher. So before anything else, I'd want you to stand for our prayer. And Miss Arbata, can you please take the lead? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you. So before you take your seats, guys, I'd want you to pick up all the trashes that you see around and kindly arrange your chairs properly. So you're done. Very good. So you can take your seats now. Now let us have an attendance. So is there anyone absent today? Okay, no one is absent today. Very good. So you have a complete attendance today. That just means that you are eager and hunger for more learning. It's very good, guys. So now let us have a short recap about the discussion that we had last meeting. So can anyone tell me what was the topic that we had last meeting? Yes, Ms. Ariglamos. Yes, very good. It is all about the housekeeping duties, responsibilities, and skills. So can you give me some of those duties, responsibilities, and skills in housekeeping? Yes, Ms. Inut. Very good. To ensure a home is kept organized, clean, and tidy. Very good. It is one of the duties and responsibilities in housekeeping. So another one coming from, yes, Mr. Ariglo. Very good. Cooking. Cooking is one of the housekeeping duties and responsibilities also. Yes, we have another one from Mr. Kanama. Very good. The ability to spot what needs doing in a home. So thank you, Mr. Kanama. And lastly, we have, yes, Ms. Arsgado. Time management. Very good. So it is one of the skills as a good housekeeper. So thank you so much, guys. That means that you listened well to, this, to the discussion that we had last meeting. So now, before we proceed to our um, proper discussion, let us have first a motivation or exercise. So here, this exercise is named Guessing Game. So I will show you an image. These images are different kinds of stain, and I want you to guess what kind of stain and what type of stain it is. Is it absorbed, built up, or compound stain? So we have here an example. As you see, it is a wine stain, and it is an absorbed type of stain. So now are you ready, guys? Okay, very good. Let us start. So for the first image, who want to guess first? Yes, Ms. Sugarul. Very good. It is a milk stain and it is an absorbed type of stain. So very good. So for the next image, we have, yes, Ms. Sumawas. Yes, it is an egg stain and a built up stain. Thank you, Ms. Sumawas. So for the third image, yes, we have Ms. Bradman. Very good. It is a juice stain and a type of absorbed stain. Very good. For for our last image, we have, yes, Miss Lederos. Yes, it is a kind of coffee stain and a type of absorbed stain. So thank you, Miss Lederos. So thank you guys for your cooperation. So I guess you have some ideas about the topic that we will have or that we will discuss this day. So very good. So now, let us proceed to our proper discussion. So are you all ready, guys? Wow, good. So now, our topic for today is all about stain. So after this lesson, you will be able to describe what is stain, identify the different types of stains, classify different types of stains, and lastly, value the general procedure of stain removal. So now, in your own words or in your own ideas, what is stain? Yes, Mr. Noval. Very good. It is a dirt or a discoloration left in the fabric. Wow, you have a great idea, Mr. Noval. So, 
A stain is a spot or discoloration left in the fabric by a reaction with or absorption of foreign substance or from, in other words, it is a colored patches or as what Mr. Novell said, a dirty marks on the fabric or on the clothes that are sometimes hard to remove. So now, let us discuss the types of stains. So earlier, with the motivation that we had, we have tackled the three types of stain. And those are the absorbed, built up, and compound stain. So first, we have absorbed stain. So an absorbed stain, this type of stain penetrate the fabric easily. So these are the examples, coffee, tea, juices, road, etc. So, so this type of stain penetrate on fabric easily. So this totally penetrate because these are liquids. So just like what you have seen from the images or from the examples, it easily penetrate in the fabric. So the second type, built up stain. These are caused by liquid which fail to penetrate the fabric and lie on the fabric surface. So examples are paint, glues, lipstick, chewing gum, etc. So we have the last type of stain, compound stain. This are or this is a combination of both absorbed and built up stains. It can both penetrate as well as built residual in the fabric surface. So one example of this is blood. So now let us proceed to the classification of stains. So do you have any ideas? What are those classification of stains? Yes, Ms. Milagros? Yes, very good. Animal stain. Another one from Mr. Akaza. Yes, mineral stain. Very good. So we have five classification of stains. And these are the animal stain, vegetable stain, grease stain, mineral stain, natural dyes, and pigments stains. So first, we have animal stain. So from, from the word itself, animal stain, stain coming from the animal. So we have the examples, blood, eggs, milk, perspiration, meat, etc. So next, vegetable stain. So we have these examples, tea, coffee, juices, fruits, grass, tomato, gravy, wines, and many more. And to the third classification of stain, grease stain. We have these examples, butter, curry, stain, greasy, oil, and many more. And for the fourth classification of stain, we have mineral stain. And we have these examples, writing ink, medicines, rust, etc. And our for our last classification, we have natural dyes and pigments stain. So we have these examples, hina, betel leaf, tobacco, etc. So now guys, we are done discussing about the types and classifications of stains. So now let us proceed to the general procedure for stain removal. So we all know that stain removal or removing of stain is used while doing at home because of course we encounter stain on our clothes or on fabrics that we have at home and but usually we encounter we encounter stain on our clothes so it is important for us to to know and learn the general procedure in removing stain so here are the general procedure for stain removal so first we have to identify the stain. What type of stain it is? From the previous discussion, is it absorbed, built up, or compound stain? So, and the second, the second procedure is classify the stain. Is it an animal, vegetable, grease, mineral, or natural dyes stain? And the third one, which is also an important procedure, we have to select the best or the suitable reagent to be used with that certain stain. In the fourth procedure, select the right procedure for stain removal. So in each stain, we have its each right procedure in removing it. So for the last procedure, step-by-step -step procedure must be adopted. Okay, now we are done discussing those types, classifications, and the general procedure in stain removal. So now, let us have a short evaluation. 
So I'd want you to get one fourth sheet of paper, guys. And I'd want you to answer this. Enumerate what is being asked. So just answer directly. So I'll give you three minutes in answering it. And your time starts now. So your time is up. Let us now check your answers. So exchange papers. Exchange your papers clockwise in one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're done checking. Exchange your papers counterclockwise in one, two, three, four, five. So now pass all the papers in front in one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I have here your answer sheets. Wow, very good. You all get a perfect score. So that means you listened well and you understood the discussion that we have this day. Very good, guys. So before we dismiss, I'll give you an assignment for our next meeting. I'd want you to research different types of reagents of stains and please do study in advance for it. So everyone, please stand for our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Section A. Goodbye. Thank you so much for your participation today. Keep safe and get blessed. Goodbye.